get it falling off the rib. Mm. Man, that's good, man. Nothing easier than feather boats. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is put some salt, pepper, and garlic on that meat. And that's what that's gonna do is it's gonna provide a dry brine, and it's gonna really moisturize that meat. Then I'm gonna take my favorite barbecue rub, and I'm gonna put a couple different varieties on here. As you can see, I've, I've seasoned this meat, and I've let it sit for about an hour to provide a lot of flavor. So now the fire is ready. I've used some uh, Kingston charcoal and some chips. I really like the blend they have here. It's apple, hickory, and oak. I got them soaking in a little bit of water right there. Got the grill nice and up and running. It is nice and smoky. I got a little side box on my Weber kettle grill. And I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. And I'm gonna try to keep this under 250 degrees because I'm not trying to cook the meat right now. I'm really just infusing that smoke flavor, trying to get a little crust on it. And I'm gonna cook them off later in the oven. The ribs have been on the smoker for about two hours. What I'm looking for is a nice crispy crust. When I smudge it and really nothing comes off, well, that's when you know that the crust is set nice. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these off. I'm gonna throw them in the okay, oven. I took the ribs, I put them in the oven, put just about a quarter inch of water in a pan, covered it with foil, and I cooked them off for about three hours. Now you wanna cook them until they're right about to fall off the bone. Then I took about half of them, I put barbecue sauce on them, and I threw them back on the grill just for a quick five or 10 minutes. Got that nice, layer on them and these ones over here are served just naked but these things man look they're